What up guys, welcome to What Up Gaming's channel Farming Simulator 17 tips and tricks. I'm playing Farm Sim series for a long time and I still don't know every little trick, but I worked really hard and it took me a long time to make this video. A lot of research, experience from playing this game, some things I learned playing on multiplayer servers and things I encountered and discovered by myself. So stick with me and let's hope you'll get some interesting information you can use in the future gameplays and see some cool features you didn't know of. I know I can't uh, cover all the little things known to man and exploits which by the way I don't encourage you to use because they are taking simulation and realism part of this game away. But I hope you'll find something for yourself even if you're a veteran player because I'm going to give you tips regarding all sorts of features implemented in Farm Sim 17 some cool use of available mods, fieldwork and money tips. Ok, enough of this introduction, let's get to the point because you came here for some suggestions, tips and tricks and I'm going to divide uh, them in few categories, starting with animals. Buy sheep first because they only use water and grass or hay and in few in-game days you'll get nice profit out of selling wool. So yeah, grass is easiest thing to get and it makes no difference for their uh, productivity. Later you can use hay and store it in hayloft. Because grass piles take up a lot of space if you're going to just unload it on the ground. Make sure you move or sell your wool pellets from this spawn point because it can hold only 6 pellets. After that production of wool stops. Use high yield grain for your pig food. As you can see on this chart, use barley over wheat. Canola is the best yielding protein for your oink oinks. Corn is must have anyway and sugar beet gives better yield than potatoes. Once you have big number of animals owned, you can automize your cleaning process because believe me it's going to be pain in the ass later. So you can use conveyor belts, uh, plenty of tutorials available on YouTube for that topic, or even better looking and more efficient. Juno 150 mod that will do that job for you. You have tutorial for it on my channel, so look it up. Or if you're fed up with that, you can always download Animal Table Manners mod from Games Mod Hub. This is a good one, I discovered it a few days ago. Just place a water hydrant mod next to your water station, refill your water tank and give water to animals at the same time. This is going to be helpful once you get big number of animals zoned and you won't need to make all those trips to the lake. As you can see, level of water is almost stable and water in a uh, cow water station is rising. For easier mixing and making of your power food for big animal farms, use bigger mods or mixing stations. You can get them from almost every farming uh, simulator mod site. Just type in mixer in search bar and something will come up. Okay, let's talk about grass and mowing for a minute because if you have uh, big animals, animal farms, especially sheep and cow, of course, you'll be doing a lot of that. So, some tractors have option that I really like. You can turn back your seat with Ctrl plus B on PC keyboard and drive it backwards. Hook up your mowers and be more efficient and cool looking <laughs> cutting your grass. If you're playing on maps with uneven fields, especially British maps with bushes and trees right beside your field edges, make two or three headlands first by yourself if you're doing field work or cutting grass, that way you get some much needed turning space and then you can finally hire a worker so he or she won't get stuck somewhere in the process. Bailing on hilly terrain can be a disaster, so take a look at the field and which way it's sloped. That way you'll know how to unload round bales without them rolling away and making mess.
Okay, perfect. Download bale fork mod that can hold and strap few bales at a time. It really makes life easier and you won't spend hours loading large quantities of them around. Stick and push your bales next to the wall. It looks better and it's easier to keep them in one place. You can buy bigger header for your starting combine, they all work the same, but be careful not to buy biggest one cause you'll have hard time unloading your harvester on the field if pipe isn't long enough, so test it and buy one that you like. Use sunflower header for your sunflower harvest, it has 50% higher maximum work speed. Control and manage your timescale, crop growth speed, with ring and fields to your liking just by pressing escape and going through some tabs. You can fertilize fields for free using weeders and save a lot of money right from the start. They won't be that helpful later on big fields but they work great on smaller ones. If you're used to play on square fields in single player, make best use of time by letting your harvester make few passes, then start cultivating. And after cultivator makes the same distance, put your seeder to work and just make sure to empty your harvester in time. That way, that way you'll be able to fertilize field right after uh, the seeding is done, manage your equipment and be more efficient. Put your time scale on real time and list some equipment if you think it will improve your profits next few in-game days, especially one that you won't use that often like I'm doing with slurry tanks. If you have some extra time and enough space for expanding your fields, cut down some trees and use plow or subsoiler to connect them or get some extra land to work with. You're playing single player career? Don't worry, there's awesome follow me mod you can use for harvesting, seeding, cultivating, holding grain, all sorts of stuff. Just test it, set offset to your liking and enjoy playing <laughs> fake multiplayer. Also, you can use GPS mod to keep straight lines, you can set it up in few seconds and it's probably one of the mods I use the most for field work. You're faster, more efficient and everything looks better while you're doing it. In Farm Sim 17 you can unload your harvester straight into your silo. You can also store your grain on the ground, especially useful at pig farms. Plant small yield grains further and bigger yield grains closer to your silo so you don't get bored from hauling grain every few minutes. Store your grain in silos if you have enough room for it. There's no point in selling it if price is too low and your hard work won't pay off. You can also store it in trains and train station silos. Forestry is big part of this game, but make sure to do it only if you really like it. If it's your first time, for sure, try it out, it will take you some time to learn some new moves, otherwise you'll spend money and too much time on profession that will disappoint you and won't get you money you need to grow your farm. I recommend you to try it out on multiplayer server with few other guys, it can be fun. Most of you don't know this, but you can regulate your cruise speed with numbers 1 and 2 with pressing number 3 on your keyboard, you'll get to speed shown on the screen, but if you hold it, 
it will switch to max speed of your vehicle. Press it again to go back to original one. Some trailers can be linked up. I never use this option, but if you like to drive trains, you can have one on the road. <laughs> Use weights to balance your tractor with big loads on one end. Right from the start you have option to borrow money from the bank, up to 200,000, especially if you're playing on easy or normal mode, you'll get a nice boost. And keep eye on grain selling prices so you can sell them in a few trips to the store and buy some equipment you can't live without, you'll have some grain stored in your silo on easy and normal mode. When you have a few minutes to spare, you can always do missions like fertilizing fields to get some extra cash, even just to cover animal upkeep, fuel and vehicle running costs, it helps a lot. And with each mission, you're going to lower nominal value of that field, so you can buy it cheaper later. So, win-win situation! You can always turn on automatic refill in your seeders and fertilizers, but if you want to spend less money, buy pellets and fill your implements for less cash spent. You can do that with water also, just bring your water tank to a river, lake or pond and refill it for free. It's going to save you thousands of dollars in the long run. Buy placeable objects if you have some extra cash. They'll cover your daily running costs and animal upkeeps which helps a lot once you have plenty of equipment. Don't let your love for old stuff get you. Vehicle upkeeps on some old tractors and combines will empty your wallet fast if you don't pay attention to detail, so make sure to sell your old stuff or download a repair mod from Games Mod Hub. If you still don't have enough money to start Goldcrest Valley Map, you can hunt down those gold nuggets. Google their location and get 100 of them for 1 million dollars, euros, pounds, whatever your currency is. Use your truck to move around faster. It will take up uh, to one hour of search probably, but there are some good tutorials on YouTube showing you how to get them, so check them out. And yeah guys, I'll repeat this again, I don't encourage some of these exploits, but I hope you find some useful information in this video. My conclusion is, enjoy the game, do a little bit of roleplaying, drive on the road, not over crops, especially if you're playing with other people, wash equipment and put it back to its original location, plenty of sheds around, people will appreciate it. And believe me, as much as you want that biggest harvester, tractor, seeder, fertilizer or, or cultivator, as soon as possible, enjoy the gameplay with small equipment and tractors, then sell them one by one, buy medium sized ones, you don't need biggest fertilizer in the game if you have 3 meter wide seeder and small field, you don't need biggest grain trailer if your harvester holds only 6000 liters of grain, you don't need 400 horsepower tractor to pull small cultivator, my point is, don't waste money on big equipment, that you won't get full use of, take your time and improve your equipment, expand your farm every day, make plans, you'll get more satisfaction playing this game right way, the way it's supposed to be played. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching this, it took a lot of effort and days to make this, so if you appreciate work I have done, please subscribe and hit the bell icon, so you'll get notified when I'm active on this channel. This is new channel. But if you want to support me, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button, share it with your friends and leave a comment with feedback for this video and suggestions for my future videos. If I get 100 likes, I'll make part 2 of tips and tricks for Farm Sim 17. Check out my other tutorials, map first looks, livestream and gameplays I made on this channel, as well as links in description, my Facebook page, Twitch channel and mod links I'll put down for you. And as always, Keep having fun and cheers from what up?